Today, our mission is simple, to destroy this entire enemy carrier fleet. The catch? Well, it's just me doing it. In order to win, I need to shoot down all of the enemy fighters and sink all of the enemy ships. All of this while protecting my only source of resupply, the USS America. Can I do it? Well, you'll just have to watch and find out. All right, let's get right into it. Uh, okay, so we've got the uh, USS America here that we're on, uh, and we need to get in the air as soon as possible because out ahead of us there, as we can start to see them pop up on our TSD, is the enemy carrier fleet. Ooh, goodness. <laughs> Almost tipped over there, but here we go. Nice little uh, short takeoff. But yeah, we need to... Um, we need to get over there and uh, sink all of those enemy ships out ahead of us. Uh, we've got our M NFP crew carrier here, uh, the enemy carrier, as well as uh, a whole bunch of other bad things that we uh, are going to have a hard time dealing with, but. Uh, it's going to be a little, it's going to be a nice challenge. Uh, behind us is the USS America. Uh, it is uh, an <laughs> assault carrier. Uh, and if the enemies are able to get close enough to this, to our carrier and sink it, then we will have failed. So we're going to need to uh, make sure that that doesn't happen as well as all of the uh, ship threats that we face out ahead of us, we also have to worry about the enemy air threat uh, because the enemy carrier does have its full fighter complement. So that's uh, 10 enemy fighters that we're going to have to take care of. And we can already see it looks like two of them have already gotten off the deck. Uh, the ASF-30 the ASF here ASF-30s here that we can see are the enemy strike fighters and they are the ones that are carrying the bombs that can uh, sink the USS America behind us. Um, so they are going to be our primary target to start off with here. Uh, in order to shoot them down I've given us a full load of um, AIM 120s, so hopefully that will, uh, you know, we got 10 missiles, they've got 10 aircraft. Uh, if we don't end up killing all of them with our AIM 120s, then we'll have to resort to the AIM 9 pluses here. And if, th if that fails, then we've got the guns, but hopefully it won't come to that here. Let me, let me turn on our radar real quick. I normally wouldn't turn on the radar, but because uh, these are just... Uh, you know, enemy f AI fighters. We don't really have to worry about. Um, we don't really have to worry about them reacting to our uh, our radar pinging like a player would. It looks like they are forming up. Yeah, it looks like they're forming up before coming towards us, towards the USS America. So, I. Honestly, I might just shoot at them, start shooting at them now. Yeah, well, they're kind of going away. I'll, I'll let them... I only see... I think there was four there? I don't know. Alright, yep, here we go. We got two more coming off the deck as we speak. And yeah, they're starting to turn around now, so... Box three. Box three. Box three. Um, I can't really tell. And then Fox three and Fox three. I don't want to waste any missiles and I don't want to um, duplicate missiles, so we're just going to launch on three in this first group over here and see how we do. Let's get eyes on them. Splash, splash, 
Splash. Awesome. Box three. Nice, that's two splashes over there. Get this guy locked up. Pitbull on him. Box three on this last guy here. And splash. Uh, I'm kind of getting concerned. Yep. Yep, we're gonna have to chaff off this missile. Nice. Let's um let's run away, cause yep, that's missile launches from the super creatures. Let's see here. Can we Can we notch that? Yes, we can. Uh and that, that super cruiser missile didn't see us. Awesome. Let's um let's turn away a bit and then we'll come back. Okay, yep. Um What are we doing? Almost almost a hundred chaff, hundred flares. Okay, yep, notch that missile. Here we go. Box three. Box three. Okay, nice. That's those dealt with. Uh, splash and splash. Nice. Let's uh, try to chaff off this super missile, cruiser missile. Okay, nice. Was able to defeat that. Just gonna explode behind us harmlessly. Yep. Super missile. Got one more aim 120 and one more fighter just taking off now. Yep, let's fox three on him. And we're going to get out of here. Just hope that that missile uh, hits. Nice. Splash. Nice. Okay, that's the enemy fighter compliment dealt with. Yep, missile launch from the super missile cruiser. Let's see if we can't can't notch this. Is that super missile? No. Good. 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 Okay. This is how we're going to have to run away. Whew, man. Those those missiles that the super missile the they're called a super missile. For a reason, you know, they're um, they are quite scary when they um, lock onto you, and they do not. Once they lock onto you, it they just uh, keep coming for you. Oh, we have another one on us. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, yep. Good thing I spotted that. Okay. Good. We were able to notch that one off as well. All right. Keep running away. Only 20 chaff, 20 flares, so. Uh. Let's see here. Can I, let me look behind us. Ah, oh, man. The rear, the rearward visibility on the 45 is not the best. Let me just. See, oh, we got another missile coming. I have an idea. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to bend the wing, bend the airframe a little bit, and we're going to point directly at. There we go. Nice. So what I just did then is I used um, I used the fact that the radar cross section of the 45 is the smallest when pointing directly at the enemy. So, because you, you present the smallest, um, 
the smallest surface area towards the target when you're pointing directly at the target. Uh, once we pointed directly at the enemy cruiser just then, uh, we were able to use the stealth properties of our 45 to our advantage, and it wasn't the radar wasn't able to maintain its lock. So, it, thankfully, it looks like we are clear. Awesome. Yep, we're no longer getting locked onto by those uh, missile by those cruiser missiles. Missiles. So. I will see you guys on the uh, flight deck of the USS America and we'll uh, rearm to get back into the fight and start dealing with the enemy ships. Ready to rearm and refuel. Awesome. Okay. Uh, unarm, disarm our weapons, get to the comms page, ground. Negative. Eight. Your engines are still running. Oops. There we Copy. go. All right. Chaff, flares, fuel. Uh, we are going to get rid of all of these M120s because we don't need them anymore. Um, and let's get, I don't need those. Let's give ourselves just a full load of, yeah, I, we'll, we'll use a full load of these internal AGM 145s. Uh, we're going to leave off our external load this time. Uh, okay, you're good to go. And I will explain that once we get into the air. Let's turn off our brake lock. Let's uh, tilt our engines so that they are 45 degrees-ish. And we can get into the air again. So the thing that we're going to try to do now is So what we're going to try to do now is uh, we're going to try to get rid of the radars on those super cruisers because those NMSS cruisers, they are like, I mean, I've said it before, they are, they're pretty scary, those missiles. So if we are able to destroy, or rather, yeah, if we're able to destroy those missiles, those radars, then they can't shoot the missiles at us anymore. So we'll be able to uh, have a bit of an easier time taking out the rest of the enemy um, the enemy fleet once we get rid of those. Uh, however, one thing we do need to kind of be careful of is the fact that there are a lot of... Um, I mean, there's a lot of sea whiz out there that we're going to have to get through. So I think I'm thinking we do four... Four for each. We've got 12 missiles, four uh, AGM 145s for each uh, each ship. Yeah, there we go. Let's, uh, wait. Are those, oh yeah, those are, and that's not what we're looking for. Those are the enemy rocket boats. We'll get to those a bit later. Those are DMS cruiser, DMS cruiser. And an MS cruiser. Yeah, we want to get this guy. Ooh, that's kind of ominous. <laughs> We're gonna watch it like emerge from the fog. Yep. There it is. So, as you can see, I mean, just look at it. We've got three Sea Wiz uh, cannon uh, emplacements here. It's one, two, three Sea Wiz. And as well, on the uh, the carrier here, they have these like rocket launchers, these like missile launchers here that will actually intercept our missiles before they, uh, before the Sea Wiz even gets to it. So, it's going to be uh, it's going to be difficult taking out these uh, these radars, but. Uh, if we launch, if we are, saturate the uh, area, if we launch enough of these 145s, we will be able to, um, we'll be able to take them out. So we're going to be relying on our stealth in order to get ourselves close enough to the enemy that we can launch these 145s. I'm thinking 
Yeah, we'll stay we'll stay at this altitude here. Actually, I think instead of launching four each, I'm gonna actually launch six at each. So that's three for this radar, three for the bottom, and then three six for the other one, same deal. We'll get the top one first. Actually, we'll do the bottom one, because I don't know which one does which, but we'll see. Okay. Okay. Ooh. One, two, three. One, two, three. Shoot. One, two, three. One, two, three. Rifle times 12. Uh, let's run away. Let's bravely, bravely run away. Let's get our. Um... Okay. Break those launches. They are very angry at us. Broke a lot, a lot of launches, locks. Now we should be able to outrun the rest of these uh, these cruiser missile shots. Yep. Yeah. Well, what are these missiles again? Are they like RSM 60s or something like that? Yeah. We're able to get rid of those. Let's um, let's start flying away. See, see how we did. Oh, oh, good, nice. We actually sunk those cruisers just outright. That's really good. All right, so all that's left is the uh, the four, the four regular cruiser missile cruisers and the carrier itself. So that's that's a really that's uh that's really good that we sunk those uh, super missile cruisers because that's the biggest threat to us personally. So all that's left are the four, the four missile cruisers down there, and we should be, and of course the carrier, which is no pushover either. Next on the docket, though, is we're going to need to take out those, uh, those rocket boats down there because uh, they have. Do you see these, uh, these like rocket turrets there? Those unguided rocket turrets will absolutely wreak havoc on the USS America if they get too close. So we need to make sure they don't get close. Uh, we'll load ourselves up for that once we get back to the USS America. And we'll put her down just like that. Ready to rearm and refuel. Awesome. Get our brakes going, turn off our master arm and engine. Yes, sir. What do you need? And let's get it. Okay, um, fuel, we'll reload, more chaff, more flares, and I'm just, and I think we're just going to take out a full load of AGM 145s now. So, we, yep, should be good. Full load of AGM 145s to take out those boats down there. Yep, let's get back to the aircraft. All set. Good hunting, sir. Okay, got our engine going, got that figured out, nice. Gear, and engine tilt, and we are back in action. Yep, so as I was saying before, these uh, these rocket boats, while they're pretty easy to kill, uh, they pose a uh, 
a pretty grave threat to the USS America if they're able to get within range. So we're going to destroy them before they before they get into range. Uh, I'm just going to be rippling off uh, AGM 145s as once we get within range. Uh, looks like. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, five, fifteen. Looks like there's about fifteen. There's uh, fifteen odd uh, rocket boats down there. So we we will have uh, enough Asian one four fives to destroy them and uh, maybe take out some of the radars on the regular cruisers as well. All right, we're in range. Rifle. 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 Rifle, 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 rifle. All right, all missiles away. Let's see how that how they do. Looks like all of them are tracking towards their targets, and wow. Ooh wee That just goes to show you the power of the one, of the, uh, <laughs> of the F-45 and the AGM-145. Let's uh, let's um, okay, let's launch three here. One, two, three. With that thing. We'll launch two here. Uh, we'll launch two here. One there, and one there. See how those all do. Oh, right, I gotta defend. It's able to defeat those missiles. And. I don't know, I can't really tell. Let's see. Uh, big screen here. Awesome, we got rid of all of the, uh, all the missile cruisers are uh, destroyed, or, er, er, yeah, all those uh, cruisers, radars are destroyed, it looks like. I'll be able to get a better view of it once we get going back the other way, let's see. Let's see here, that radar got taken out, that radar got taken out, that radar got taken out, and that radar got taken out. So, and we even got the, uh, one of the Sea Whiz and uh, Interceptor missiles off of the enemy carrier there. So, that's pretty good. Alright, uh, we'll see you all back at the USS America, where hopefully we'll be coming back for one, one final attack run on these, uh, on these ships here. Ready to rearm and refuel. Awesome. Parking brake, get our comms panel up, engine off. Copy. And more chaff, <laughs> more flares, more fuel. Um let's see here. Reload. Yeah, we could take a whole nother load of AGM 145s. However, I think. What I'm actually going to do is we are going to we're going to bring some of these laser guided bombs instead because they are much more like I know for a fact that these GBU-12s will absolutely destroy uh, the enemy ships without any without any problem. So yeah, we'll bring we'll bring some AGM 145s just uh, for the um, for the uh, enemy uh, Sea Whiz if they've got if they've got them. But we'll bring these GBU 12s to actually uh, shoot 
to actually destroy the ships because good hunting, sir. Well, it might take like three or four AGM 145s to destroy the ship. It'll only take one uh, GBU 12 to destroy any of the ships down there. All right. 45 degrees. APU off. Engine on. There we go. And we're off. There we go. We got we got eyes on the um, on the enemy uh, interceptor missile launcher. So we'll launch um, how many? We got ten AGM one four fives. Um, yeah, we'll we'll launch four. Four worked last time. We'll launch four at this one, and then uh, we'll launch like two two C two at each C was in the four corners. So here we go. Two, three, four. One, two. These two. And we'll just save two to see what two of them for um, just in case. And then we'll we'll drop a um, we'll, we'll drop one of our external GBU twelves here. And pickle. Or rather paveway. comes our missiles and there we go we can actually see yep one of them got intercepted two missiles got intercepted I don't know if our bomb will actually hit I, I think they might still have sea whiz up well it hit the bomb hit but it Looks like this guy's still up. Yeah, so we're gonna have to come around for another AGM 145, and then we'll drop our other. Um, we will drop our other paveway on him. And paveway. Right, right amidships. There we go. That, uh,. That sea whiz should have gotten taken out, hopefully. And we'll see about this bomb. One more bomb should do it. Okay, famous last words. Um, that carrier is still up. Oh my goodness. Watch it take like one more AGM. Let's try. Let's try one more AGM 145. Because I really don't want to have to go back and rearm. Hopefully, it just takes one more 145 to, to sink the ship. Oh, and the shooting sea was at us now. Surely, surely, one more, one more bomb should destroy this carrier. Pickle. Here it comes. There we go. It's going down now. Okay. Well, we don't have enough uh, ordnance for the rest of these uh, these cruisers, so we're just gonna have to. We will have to go back one more time and rearm. But pave white. Shouldn't take too much. Now that we've gotten rid of the. Oh no! Please stay on. There we go.
Here it comes. And there goes one. We'll flip ourselves around, get the other one. Dave White. One more bomb for um, <laughs> second to last ship. Shoot. And Paveway. Last ship here. Bro, well, not last ship, but last bomb. And splash. There we go. All right. Well, one more, one more cruiser left, and then we can uh, go home for real this time. I'm actually just gonna bring. I think I'm gonna have fun. We're just gonna bring a full load of um, of uh, Mark 83s, the thousand pound bombs, and we're just gonna dive bomb that guy. Wait a bit longer. I want to want to get a real the real dive bomb here. Here we go. Twenty five, thirty degree, thirty degrees is dive angle ish, and there go bombs away. Holy cow! Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, no kidding. That that ship did not know it hit it. Wow, that went even better than I expected. Well, that's uh that's a mission complete. Um oops. As you can see, we have uh, laid <laughs> absolutely laid waste to all of the uh all of the enemies in our path and uh, we have kept our our uh, assault carrier here alive so uh, i like to thank you all for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed this video uh, i will see you all next time take care everybody